back in 2015, I, I was looking around at, at different veterans and agriculture programs around the country and saw that most of them were geared towards making veterans into farmers. I was looking at how to modify that to offer a paid internship program to veterans that would allow them to get a diverse range of experience in a short amount of time, then go into the agriculture industry. So we set up this program to offer a six month paid internship where they, the veteran will spend one month in, in six different areas of, of the research station and, and get a, a very diverse range of experience. And since we started the program in 2016, we've had over 50 veterans go through the program. And for those that have completed the, the program, we've had a 100% job offer rate. Prior to this program, I've, I've had very little, if none, uh, experience in agriculture other than around, you know, your own home gardens. I'm on my fifth month here. I've worked in the farm crew where I've learned irrigation techniques. I've gone to the horticulture lab where I've learned the different fertilizers that they use and the amounts they use in order to get the best product from the plants. And currently I'm in the tomato lab where we're doing seedlings, we're planting them and, and tying them. The school board program helps out um, transitioning service members, finding a career path after the military. When I was stationed in Abilene, we had a little bit of a farm going on with me and my wife. We raised some chickens, had some crops growing on. I realized I liked that. So for the Skillbridge program and the Veterans Florida, I looked at what could be something I would like and I found the agriculture program and talked it over with my wife and we we're like, we liked it, let's go for it. So we went for it. At the research center, I've been working with disease resistance and cross-pollinization of strawberries. We have tried out some different strawberry plants and doing some different cross-pollinizations, trying to get better flavoring, better sweetness, better juiciness and more disease resistance. I, since I like it here a lot, I'm looking to hopefully get hired on here, continue doing what I've been doing now. If that doesn't work, my wife and I are looking at trying to get some land out near Plant City to try to uh, get a ranch going ourselves again. After the program ends, I'm looking into USDA and uh, if not the USDA, maybe the Florida Department of Agriculture also. For any veteran that's looking at this program, I would say if you like the outdoors, this is something for you. It's a rewarding job at the end of the day. You will sweat, but it's a good kind of sweat. This is completely different than what I've done in the military and I, I like it a lot.